Flick through the channels on your TV, and odds are good you'll find a show about beat cops or criminal investigators, usually with a healthy dose of over-dramatized action and embellishment. One of the most sensationalized and feared bits of technology is the polygraph machine, usually shown in a dimly lit room with detectives crowding around a sweating suspect. That part might be stretching the truth a little bit to make a good TV scene, but the general idea of a machine reading your physiology and printing squiggly lines on a sheet of paper wouldn't have been far off the mark just a few years ago. That's not too far from the truth. Polygraph did once function that way. Uh, they were the old analog systems. Uh, where you'd see a piece of ink scratching out on a continuous roll of paper and the examiner having to mark and note, make notations on that paper. That did occur once upon a time, but uh, we're in the 21st century now and polygraphs come a long way, so uh, it's digital now. Uh, it's recorded within a uh, computer system where we can record data from a uh, examining electronically. Basically, the polygraph is kind of a psychophysiological uh, exam. So there's three different channels, uh, physiological channels that we're measuring. So we're measuring breathing, we're breathing, uh, measuring uh, sweat gland activity and heart rate activity. And really what we're looking for is during certain parts of questions, we're looking for a change in baseline, a change in uh, physiology is what we're looking for. So is the polygraph a lie detector? Well, not exactly. As the detective said, it simply measures a physiological response to questions asked and requires a highly skilled operator to review the results for follow-up questions and investigations. And with over 12 years of experience, Lieutenant Hilke has proven to be one of those highly skilled operators. Joining him is Detective McDermott, our newest polygraph operator, who recently graduated near the top of his class at the Polygraph Examiner School in Lafayette, Indiana. While both have been extensively trained on the machine, it's actually their skills as detectives, not the polygraph itself, that make them so valuable to our department. Polygrapher also has to be um, a good, good interviewer. When we put a qualified person running the machine that's also a good interviewer, they can review that data and see whether or not the person answering the questions is being accurate. Russ McDermott was selected because of his experience with different types of investigations and his interviewing skills. Um, because a polygraph is only as good as the operator. And if the person running the polygraph is not a good interviewer, um, it's not going to be as beneficial as you would want it to be. A polygraph is an incredibly versatile tool for our police department, and it absolutely helps us clear cases and solve crimes. But it's actually not what we use the polygraph for the most. We'll close out this story with a look at our polygraph machine's most requested use. So over the last 12, 13 years, I've had the privilege of being able to do polygraphs on hundreds and hundreds of potential applicants here, which has helped us keep our hiring standards high. Uh, we've been able to weed out probably some of those undesirable folks that you know, we wouldn't want to employ here. And it's only by having the polygraph available that we've been able to weed these people out. So it solves cases, um, it helps us pick the right applicants. Um, all, those thing go, all those things go to make the city safer and for us to employ only the best officers.